Software Spring Presence How to use RRI in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on using the RRI function. Let's begin with an introduction to RRI. RRI returns the compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of an investment. CAGR is the average rate of return of an investment over a time frame. CAGR requires that investment returns are reinvested and interest is compounded yearly. Key point and use of the RRI function is to calculate and compare the CAGR of investments which do not give fixed returns such as the equity mutual funds. Okay, here's the format of the RRI function. Here is an example. Number of periods is the investment time frame. Present value is the investment amount. Future value is the expected return from the investment at the end of the investment time frame. Moving forward, here is the objective of using the RRI function. To calculate the CAGR for Number of periods, or investment time frame, of 5 years Present value, or investment amount, of rupees 10,000 Future value expected is rupees 15,000 Alright, let me type the investment data here Let's type the RRI function formula in this cell. First, type equal to R R. Select RRI. For number of periods, click this cell. Type comma. For present value, click this cell. Type comma. And, lastly, for future value, click this cell. Press enter. Let's present this data in percent format. Click this down arrow. Click percent. Alright, this should be the CAGR, or the average growth rate, of the investment for it to return this future value. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel 